Howdy howdy, this is Credit Grinding, back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. So today I cover round one results for the Nick Fury and Rogue Arenas, then jump into some round two predictions. So first, round one results. So surprise, 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 the Nick Fury five-star feature arena cutoff was a unexpectedly low 41 million. So uh, despite all the hype out there, he's definitely a decent uh, champ, especially on the bleed side. Um, kind of a high risk, high reward champ though, since uh, he does the most damage when he's in that kind of uh, Nick Furious mode, down to like 20-30% health, something like that. So definitely a high, re high, re high risk, high reward type champ, but, uh, but has some great synergies too. So despite all that hype though, the 5 star feature arena only went to 41 million. A lot of folks, including myself, thought it would go much higher than that, but uh, pleasantly surprised to be honest with you. So this is a good sign for the community. Um, you know, we don't have to grind. Maybe the bots are out. And actually, you know, I'm also thinking, I wonder, even with great five-star champs coming into the game, now that they're the Cavalier Crystals are out there, people are seeing the six stars dropping here and there. We know eventually Kabam's going to stop some content for five stars and you need only six stars. Maybe we're not too far away from five stars losing some of their relevancy. I know it's going to be a long while from that. Um, but, you know, maybe to a degree that grinding to 70 million for a uh, five-star champ, no matter how good they are, really just doesn't make sense anymore. Thanks, Kabam. So how soon will it be before we see the six-star feature? But that's a topic for another day. Anyway, back to the round one results. We got 41 million here for the five-star feature, or for the four-star feature, went to 11 million. A little bit higher than normal for uh, new champs uh, in the four-star feature champ in the arenas, which was kind of expected. And then right on par, right in the kind of the wheelhouse expected for that four-star basic low. Even though Rogue's a decent champ to have, she went for 1.64 million. So comparing these results to my predictions, you could probably guess how they fared. Was way off on that five-star feature, but uh, right in the wheelhouse for when it comes to both. When that five to ten percent wheelhouse. Keep in mind, this is not an exact science game. This is getting in the ballpark within the infield, if you will, and trying to keep it out of the infield. That infield of five to ten percent, kind of right on cue there um, for the round one prediction. So, kind of considering this, and uh, let's take a look at some of the trends for some similar past arenas to kind of figure out what's going up with uh, going on with uh, round two, or what might happen anyway with round. Two. So starting first with that five-star feature arena, when we look at some champs who had some similar uh, round one results, uh, Symbiote Supreme, the champion, Night Thrasher, they all kind of fall on that anywhere 40, it's somewhere in the 40 million-ish uh, range for their first round cutoff. You can see they all had a bump in the second round. Uh, for the most part, all of them getting to uh, 50 million, and then a couple of them even creeping a little higher. Night Thrasher, uh, kind of surprisingly I would say out of all all those champs are decent but probably the least decentest or the most average in average in this if that's such a word um, champ out of those three um, with the highest to 55 so we could probably expect to see Nick Fury to jump somewhere in the 50s uh, then with the four star feature you can see that uh, for the most part thing and mr. sinister they had a kind of a bump between round one or sorry um, Thing had a bump, but Mr. Sinister and Captain Marvel most recently, the most recent four stars, and especially with all the great news, exciting news, thanks to Mom and Dad Gabam protecting us from Act 6 with our four stars, they're starting to drop now even when they're good champs like Mr. Sinister and Captain Marvel from round one to, er, into round two with a slight decrease there. Well, maybe even a little bit more slight than a slight when we're talking 500,000 plus between round one and round two, and so I probably should expect the same thing with Nick Fury. And then with Rogue, interestingly enough, with the four-star basics, there's a slight bump. Not a significant bump, but a slight bump between round one and round two, typically, when we see for these type of champs. And since Rogue's a decent champ, people see how easy it is to get her. You'll see a few uh, folks grind a little bit higher, pushing her number a slight higher in round two. And then when it comes to the three-star feature, this has always been kind of the standards. A lot of people just kind of grind that three-star feature for a new champ just to have a copy of that new champ to play around and, and do their own thing there. So, And then in round two, you see those numbers typically fall. So considering these trends, and there's a, a lot of examples, there's pretty consistent trends across all of these arenas. I think we've got some good data to move into kind of get an idea what the uh, round two results will look like. So for here are my thoughts on those round two predictions. I think we're going to see Nick Fury make 50 million. I don't know if we'll see a, a huge number than that. We might see. You saw even Night Thrasher went from the mid-40s to 
um, the mid 50s um, when he came out. And so, you know, Nick Fury's definitely a better champ than Night Thrasher, in my opinion. So, 50 million might be on the low side of the prediction. It might actually be a little bit higher, but we'll say 50 million. And then uh, with the four star feature, I think 10 million is, is a good, consistent number you can see for a four star these days. Those <laughs> can't take them much farther in the game, four stars. And then with the four star basic arena, I think 1.7 is de a definitely a good spot where we'll see Rogue Land, maybe even a slight hot lower, but I think since she's still a decent champ, we'll see her make at least that 1.7 cutoff. And then with the um, three star feature, Nick Fury, I think 1.2 is what we can expect. And again, these predictions are for the veterans bracket, meaning an account that's been open for over. 61 days now because you can see that none of these are an exact science this is an exact science game I'm trying to get it in the infield that 5 to 10 percent infield I always like to kind of give a grind or give yourself a little buff 53 million maybe even 55 56 million honestly with Nick Fury just thinking of those night threshold numbers right to make sure you if you really wanted to make sure you kind of get around that cutoff or above that cutoff I should say for Nick Fury in the second round 10.5 in, in the five star feature and then for the four star feature I think 10.5 should be plenty I think 1.9 million will be plenty for the four star feet or basic rogue arena and then 1.3 million for the three star feature Nick Fury now this again this these grind targets as well as the predictions or for the veterans bracket when it comes to the lower brackets don't have a ton of data however i do have some recent data as uh, if you follow my channel i know uh, you may know that i've opened up a free to play account earlier this month so i've had a chance to play around in some of the uh, beginner arenas like across the board just to kind of get a sense of what are the latest cutoffs and so with this round i went after both rogue and uh, nick fury and uh, happy to report that these numbers are lower than what i had seen you know a year or two ago myself plus uh, anecdotal data that i received and i had been getting some information over the last couple months from folks in these early uh, brackets and they've said that these numbers were low like somebody was able to get Captain Marvel four star for like 450,000 or something I said whoa that's extremely low I went ahead and drove that my number up for Nick Fury to almost a million to 966,000 you can see I was ranked 28 so I definitely took him farther than I needed to now to be clear in the beginners bracket and for the four star feature arena they only give out 50 so the top 50 go there so I'm, I did want to get definitely one version and if you're probably do the same thing for human torch next month uh, make sure I kind of, you know, get close to a million to give myself plenty of protection to make sure I get that champ. But uh, I may play around a little bit this second round and just going for the dupe for sure, but maybe try to get closer to 750, 800 just to see if I get the champ. I don't know, but I was thinking the same thing with Nick Fury the first time. I was like, I want to make sure I get the champ. So I'll probably push it a bit higher, but I am curious to hear that. So if you're out there playing the beginner's bracket and you were closer to 750, 800,000, I would love to hear about it. Throw it in the comment section. Let me know. And you can see for the four star basic, again, 481,000. That's an easy grind with my three stars that aren't even leveled up. Just kind of on the side was able to easy get to 481 and I got beast the last time for around that number and then got rogue again this time so that's a decent champ especially for a beginning account to get rogue and 300 five star shards for grinding that arena for 481 it's like whoa so if you're thinking about you know setting up an auto account to mess around um, wait a couple weeks so I'm out of the beginners bracket but then come in the beginners brackets and uh, then you should be able to get some champs don't need any more competition in there because that's the that's the old caveat with these uh, earlier arena or these earlier brackets they really do sway kind of back and forth in terms of based off of the number of people moving between them so if there's just a rush all of a sudden let's say that Kabam tries to put a big uh, media push marketing push behind like in game and they did that recently with Dave and Buster's uh, with their in game con you know uh, new game there that they have in there they kind of highlight uh marvel contest of champions quite a bit there so i'm surprised we haven't seen a bunch of new players and maybe who knows maybe that's why these numbers are so low because there's so many people coming into the pool but they're not driving these numbers up maybe it now is the top i don't know anyway so many theories out there but considering all of this i definitely am updating my uh, new kind of ballpark numbers to consider if you're in these arenas uh the beginner bracket the three star feature 245 that seemed pretty consistent so still was able to always bag uh, Captain Marvel both times uh, with those numbers for the four star basic 500,000 I've seen it twice myself I've heard it from others it seems like if you get to 500,000 you should definitely be able to get that four star basic champ despite if it's a good champ or not and then the four star feature I'm still going to say 1.1 million just to make sure you get him I would say, you know, reality, you might be able to get by with 750, 800,000 kind of thing. I actually heard again, someone reported close to 500,000 for Captain Marvel. That seems like an awfully low number. I'm not going to push my luck since I only ranked in the middle of the pool. 
uh, with pushing to 900,000. So that's why I'm thinking it was probably closer to seven, 800. And I bet with Human Torch next month, it's going to be the same thing. Intermediate bracket, these are older numbers, just because I personally haven't been in the intermediate back bracket yet. It'll be, you know, early April before I get in there, before I get to play around myself. So based off of the latest information that was provided, some, some t from time to time, folks let me know kind of what they scored. Three-star features looking around 525, four-star basic 900,000, and four-star feature 1.5 million. So anyway, these are my thoughts for the second round of the Nick Fury and Rogue Arenas. Would love to hear your thoughts. Throw it on down, especially if you have any questions or if you have a difference of opinion. Would love to hear about them. Throw them on down in the comment section. We can definitely discuss them there. Other than that, if you like this video, we really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you like these, these types of videos and others that I am on the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, we really appreciate it if you did. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.